the next half of the, the lesson. So here with the reading, chaque jour j'apprenais quelque chose sur sa planète. Like, so every day he's learning something new. Everything, you know, it's coming slowly, tout doucement, uh, au hasard des réflexions. It, it's, it's coming slowly and kind of um, um, with the kind of randomness of just reflections. So it's not this thing where the little prince is like, okay, well, let me tell you, I was born and then this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, this happened, and then I came here, right? So it's not this linear story, it's like a conversation where it's like, oh yeah, by the way, I gosh, I really thank you for the, the sheep because I really need the sheep's help to take care of the baobabs. It's like, wait, what? Uh, and that's, you know, so he learns, the, the narrator, the pilot is learning little things. And an example of this, you know, we get an example right here. Ah, uh, thanks to the, the sheep, right, the little prince. C'est bien vrai, n'est-ce pas, que les moutons mangent les arbustes? Oui, c'est vrai. Ah, je suis content. Okay, so is, is it true that, that, that sheep eat bushes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whew, good. <laughs> ah, and so it's like, well, okay, well, why are you asking that, right? Um, and so... Uh, so then the little prince kind of you know and so these are these are th this is what this is doing is it's giving um insight right it's not saying oh well little prince explained to me that he's got this baobab issue on his planet and so he needs the sheep it's no 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 the little prince asked wait this is how sheep work right and the narrator's like yeah <laughs> they kind of go from there right and so it's not explaining it it's putting us in that situation it's it's bringing you in as the reader into that discussion and it's like uh, oh and you're discovering it kind of in the same way that the narrator discovered it right uh and um and you know again there's this question of proportion where the little prince is from a planet sure but is it really a planet? No, it's an asteroid, right? It's an asteroid. Uh, and so he's a little prince on a planet that's about the size of a person's house. So he's really, it's its a strange situation of proportions, right? Je fis remarquer au petit prince que les baobabs ne sont pas des arbustes, mais des arbres grands comme des églises. I told the little prince, I, I, I brought to his attention like, oh, but baobabs are not bushes they are big trees like biggest churches uh and even if he brought a whole you know uh like kind of group i don't know troupeau uh there's a better word for it it's not coming to me of elephants uh it still wouldn't you know finish a, a whole a single baobab but again, the little prince is like, no, 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 you don't get it. Uh, I live on this tiny asteroid, and the baobabs start small, but they grow rapidly, and eventually they get to the size of my planet, and that's the problem. And so the narrator is, is understanding, okay, well, th things are just different with the little prince. There's a question of proportion. Uh, and so there's this silly idea of, well, yeah, elephants would hardly fit on this planet. It's the side of a house, size of a house. Okay. Uh, and on the little prince's planet, uh, like on all planets, there are good uh, grass and bad grass. So um, uh, good plants and weeds uh, or invasive plants. Um, so there, you know, it, it only follows that, um, you know, there are grains, there are seeds, right? And so the seeds are invisible. They sleep secretly in the in the earth until um one of them has on a whim all of a sudden one of them decides to wake up and then they you know she so the seed stretches and first kind of lets out a, a shy shyly lets out towards the sun uh, a ravishing little inoffensive sprig or kind of sprout right and so there's this humanization of the of the plant and so it's this idea of well the 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 bad seeds and the good seeds are invisible but then it's only once they start growing that we see that they're good or bad and because they're invisible we don't see them grow and so they sleep in secret right and again using a verb like sleep for 
a, a seed. Uh, uh, prendre fantasy, like taking taking on the desire, like like being inspired or or something like that, to wake up, right? So we're getting this all these human verbs uh, for something that's actually a seed. And so that's kind of interesting, right? That tells us a little something about, oh, well, you know, what's the author trying to trying to convey here? Is it really about seeds or is it about something else? Um, and we saw some really great ideas in the discussion about that. Um, here there's, il me répondit, bon voyant, bon voyant. Ah, uh, bon is like saying bien. Uh, so it sounds like Ben, uh, my first name. It sounds like Ben, but it actually yeah, it looks like Ben. But it sounds like bon, and it, it's like a way of saying bien. Bah, bien, voyons. Uh, and it's a way of saying like, ah, come on. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, come on now. Comme s'il s'agissait là d'une évidence, as if it were clear as day. Okay, so this is not the, the narrator's name. Uh, it's it's more just like a, an exclamation, like, ah, oh, right? Ah, oh, come on. So here we've got this really interesting thing happening where the, the seeds are becoming like people, right? Where the seeds sleep until one of them um, uh, gets the idea to wake up and they stretch, right? C'est tirer, to stretch. It's what we do in the morning when we're trying to stretch our body and get our muscles, wake our muscles up. And grows, uh, uh, shyly grows uh, towards the sun, a, a, a ravishing little inoffensive um, um, sprout, right? And if it's a radish or a rose bush, it's, it's cool, right? You can just leave it. But if it's about a bad plant, you gotta you gotta pull it up immediately. Right? And so there's this work that the little prince has of gardening, of maintaining his planet. And it's the idea of being a good steward. And I would encourage you to look up the English word steward. It's a word that we don't use very much, but a good steward is kind of um, an expression that means somebody who's who's taking good care of something, right? So there's a little more to it. So I'd encourage you to look it up if you're curious. But a good steward is somebody who's taking who's doing what the little prince is doing, where he's he's working very hard to make sure his planet stays safe. Um, I think you understood this, that there are drastic implications if the baobab gets too large. It's, it's existential, right? Uh, it can cover the entire planet, it can perforate it, and if it's too small, it can, it can make the planet explode, destroy the planet, okay? So the little prince does his morning routine. He washes his face, maybe, and brushes his teeth or something. And then it's he says, I've got to do the same thing for the planet. I've got to do the planet's morning routine. OK. So then, you know, after this story of the little prince, the narrator kind of takes that to heart. And now, you know, he he tells his friends, hey, you know, the, this is the narrator, not the little prince. The narrator says, hey, watch out for baobabs. Watch out for those bad seeds that are growing. And so here is where the metaphor might kind of um, become a little clearer, where the narrator is saying, oh, I have to bring my friends bring to it to my friend's attention um, uh, that like they they don't they they have to be careful about those kind of things right uh, they have to be careful about these invisible seeds that that are planted and again it's not there's no clear answer of what those seeds could be and I really liked the answers that y'all came up with I think y'all had some really great ideas and you're totally on the right track with the ideas that you came up with in the discussion about what those could could symbolize. Um, and I'd be happy to discuss with you all in, in more depth, maybe on Wednesday during the YouTube Live.
We've got this nice drawing. I really like the green of the baobabs. I love the detail of the the roots, right? And if you've Googled, I assume that you've done the kind of just knee-jerk reaction of Googling what a baobab looks like, because we don't have any in Wisconsin. Uh, but um, this is a really cool drawing, I think. I love the way the roots look almost like fingers, and they're kind of going all around, and it's really, really interesting. And again, it's this funny perspective, right? Where the planet's this big, and the baobab's this big, and the person, it's just really bizarre, these, these perspective. OK? So yeah, that's the reading, the baobab. Not a bad reading to end on. OK, so again, that's the last assigned reading. Everything else is extra, is up to you.